That's an overdose. Okay. just a, a business. If you've been able to have record profits, then invest in healing people injured by your product. People are dropping like flies and it makes no difference what their economic status is. They could be uh, wealthy, they could be mired in poverty. This, this scourge um, takes no prisoners. My name is Brandon Adkins and I work for the Huntington Police Department. When I first started uh, with my job and I started seeing it, I had a little bit of excitement into it because it was something new to me. Um, and it didn't take long. I've, I've got a year and a half on now and I'm just completely jaded about it. Uh, it just seems like each case, it's just the same, same old, same old. What's going on? Care about needles? No, no. No I needles? Like Not I, I, I snorted no. my straw right there. I was just telling you. Snorted? Yeah. In a 10 day span, I think we had like 14 deaths. So I ended up having to take a few days off uh, just to kind of regroup myself and, and uh, not just be unhappy all the time. What they'll do is they'll put the product in here, a little bit of water, heat it up, put a cotton filter in, draw out the filter. It started with the pills. I had a motorcycle wreck and started with the doctor first. And what kind of uh, dosage was he giving you and how often and all that? It was uh, Roxy 15s, two a day. And started overdoing them. Steve Williams, mayor of the city of Huntington, West Virginia. Most of the heroin addiction that we have began um, with individuals who um, had a prescription with pain medication and that prescription led to an addiction. Huntington is a, a, a town of just a, under 50,000 people. Our county is 96,000 people. Yet over a five, a five year period, just a five year period, there was over 40 million, 40 million doses of opiates that were distributed in this county alone. I don't need to get in uh, and don't even seek to get into what the motivation was. The numbers speak for themselves. My name is Brian Scott Littlejohn. I've been using since I was 10 years old. I've been clean since September 28, 2015. We'd go see the doctor, get prescription pills, come back like it was, it was I mean, it was easily accessible. They kind of, if you just show up down there and say, hey, I have a back injury, they'll pretty much prescribe you whatever you wanted. Let's take a couple cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, side You go to the doctor, you pay them cash, no insurance, and then leave the doctor's office, go straight to the pharmacy, they fill the prescription, no questions asked, and you're, you're free to go. Rather than going to the taxpayers of my community and saying, we need to raise your taxes so that we can fight this epidemic, we need to go to those who are complicit in causing the epidemic and they need, they need to be held accountable. If you've been able to have record profits, then invest in healing people that have found themselves injured by your product. My name
name is Michael Smith. I'm a lieutenant on the Huntington Fire Department here in Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, most of our call-outs now are for drugs. They probably make up somewhere around of a third of our calls. Uh, fires generally are about 15% to 10% of our calls. So obviously the drugs are much, much more. Sorry about that. That's me. That's, me. That's an overdose. Come on. We're responding to a, an overdose of a middle-aged male in a local grocery uh, store. Uh, he's been reported 911, and we're currently there now. Ma'am, there was a call. Restroom, thank you. This is the second one we've had in here. What we got? His mom is supposedly hey, outside. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I think she talked this before. Yeah, she did about it. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Timmy. Timmy. Uh huh. Hey, look here. Just lay there. How long you been doing heroin? It's been a while since you've done it. Done it, or you've been doing it for a while? Yeah. <coughs> Did you ever do You weren't even breathing. Really? Yep. Maybe about six times a minute. Normal is 20. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and stand up here. We're going to stand up here against the wall. Get your bearings. Okay. Can I just ask, did you start on opioids first before we move on to heroin? Yes, sir. And how did you get into it? Uh, just, I was... Uh, on uh, pain pills, and actually, I've been trying to get off soon. Hopefully. Yep. You got a tag. They have. They You want to go to the hospital? I would just as soon be able to hear from from these uh, these companies that say we'll come in and we'll partner with you to be able to fight this addiction, rather than spend their time saying, if it's not our fault, we're just a, a business. When I was in the investment business, if I was giving, giving advice to somebody that caused harm to them, I would lose my career, lose my license, and possibly have to pay money. Do no harm, and there's plenty of harm that we can point to all around.